Welcome to my extended review. And yes, it is a car. So this is the new Mustang Mach-E. Mach means electric, or E means electric, excuse me. Mach, of course, is a type of Mustang. They've been around for a long time. I, I really have to say overall, it is a beautiful car. Um, I love the fact I have the keys in my pocket, so I'm not cheating, but we have a keyless entry system that you press and you can open up and the car is very nice to sit in. The chairs or seats are pretty good. And obviously uh, I'm gonna plug in my iPhone. So my iPhone is plugged in. I'm gonna turn on the vehicle. So you'll notice the screen lights up. It's a beautiful screen. And obviously I have my, uh, I have my XM radio uh, in the car. And you'll notice that CarPlay is starting. So in just a moment it'll be. But I was gonna show you instead, rather than CarPlay, which will be visible in just a moment. But you have uh, radio, which in this case there's Sirius XM. Uh, but there's also a bunch of other, uh, oh, the, the update was there over the air updates that they do, but I can also do a bunch of other stuff. I can do FM, uh, FM HD. Um, like I said, I can go into uh, Siri and use the Siri system, which is very nice. Uh, I can do extended apps. Um, take a look, this is the new uh, CarPlay screen, uh, which I like a lot. And then you can see you've got an easy to use screen here where you can scroll through and, you know, obviously you can do a bunch of different things. Um, Teams calls work really well. Um, I use topo maps, but that's for when I'm walking. You know, you can do radar, Zoom calls, uh, WebEx, yada, yada, anything at all that you want to do. And then, you know, as I said earlier, you've got uh, built in applications this is the built-in uh, application from uh, the connected Ford which is uh, using the Alexa system uh, so you can say hey Alexa and Alexa will turn on as you can see up on the top mm -hmm. I'm gonna cancel because I'm not really doing anything but this is the built-in uh, GPS system I've already talked about FM uh, and what's there but you also have a bunch of other stuff you can connect to uh, you know media so you can do uh, usb media in the back there uh, it has the built-in so this is charging um, so obviously as an electric car you need to be able to charge it um, the steering wheel is nice as you can see it's got the mustang on it i love that um, standard controls are here uh, you'll notice it has a small unit here small display speed limit uh, you get your driving directions uh, it does tell you the actual speed limit right there of where you are and then how far your range is on the current charge where you are with the battery charge um, that little guy there is called flash if you've ever watched the movie zootopia that is flash from zootopia um, he is absolutely cute and uh, my daughter bought him for me in germany uh, long story, I won't waste your time with it today, but um, that was uh, a gift, and he rides in my car. Flash, if you'll recall from the movie, uh, loves fast cars. Anyway, oh, looks like we have uh, we have another update, so uh, that's the over-the-air update system, uh, which works out very nice. I like the simple and easy to use. Down on the bottom, you have heated seat, heated steering wheel, uh, the fan controls, max AC, uh, you can do your uh, back. There's only one um, DC connection in the car, uh, but there are USB connections down below. So you'll see there's traditional USB-A, and then there is a USB-C direct to USB-C. And yes, I do love the car phone holders from WeatherTech, incredibly nice uh, and easy to use. And then I do have the uh, floorboards that are very nice and easily protected. So this is the Ford Mustang Mach-E, my extended review for this week.